Hello guys, and I know, um, I know you clicked on this video because of the title and thumbnail, and this is the, um, this is what we like to call the clickbait challenge by Rice Gum. Yeah, I'm entering it. Don't call me a faggot. But yeah, I'm entering this challenge. It's gonna be pretty cool. I want to see how many people click on this video. I've always liked because I'm a smaller channel, as you guys know, and I'd like to know how clickbaiting kind of like I know how it works like you know you put something that people want to click on they click on it boom first three seconds cha-ching they get the money um you know I kind of wanna it's not exactly like that actually to be honest but um I kind of wanna I kind of wanna try it you know I wanted to try I've tried it a couple times I tried it in my last video I got a G35 or I'm getting one whatever you know pretty clickbaitish if you ask me but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be doing it all the time I'm not like some clickbait god over here you know I'm not gonna call any bigger YouTubers out for clickbait, but I mean, you should know who I'm talking about. There's all, like, I'm not just talking about one YouTuber, I'm talking about multiple, but yeah, this is the clickbait challenge here. But, um, yeah, it's actually kind of like, I'm gonna be honest, it's quite easy to clickbait if you know what you're doing. Um, I'd say it's, oh, okay. honestly, but I think it'd be a lot easier to, it's a lot easier to clickbait if you are a vlogger, in my opinion. I feel like if you're doing a like, game, like, like gameplay like I do, it's kind of hard. Unless I guess you're talking about information. If you're talking about information, um, maybe then it's, maybe it's a bit, I don't know, easier. But ugh, I have hiccups. But for me, at the moment, it's kind of it's not really easy to put fate. Like you gotta put some fucking thought into it. You know? like, I, like I think it'd be just something like either just pop in your head right away. But like you gotta be put fate for a while for that to happen. Like it, like it actually takes a little bit of thought, which is pretty crazy. But, um, yeah, clickbaiting is something, man, and, 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 like, as I said, I'm in, I'm in this little clickbait challenge, hopefully this video will get the most views in the next two weeks, so I will win, uh, Rice Gum's clickbait challenge, and I'm not even really doing it for, like, the, if you can see my air quotations, big prize he's talking about, I just hope this prize or whatever is a shout out, you know, grow this channel, get more people, get new viewers on the channel, even though this channel is growing pretty friggin' quickly, which I'm so thankful for, and I am working on the channel subscriber montage, so, you know, just chill with that, but yeah, I'm just, you know, it's one of the first things I actually entered that involves me having to upload a video for, like, a YouTube, like, for YouTube and, like, a challenge, really, like, there's, like, always, like, um, like, like all these other things I could enter for shoutouts, but those ones are really stupid. It's like you gotta fill out all this stuff, like just like follow them on Twitter, follow them on Instagram, like their Facebook page, do all this crap, and it's and it's really stupid. It's like screw that, I'm not gonna do that. It's pointless. But um, but this one, you know, it's different. <laughs> it seems quite funny. Clickbait challenge. Let me know if this uh, if this clickbait um, can I or like the thumbnail and title was a really good clickbait for you guys. Just let me know. Like, I did a good job, but probably, I'm probably going to do a bad job, but um, anyways, uh, I don't really know what else to talk about other than, um, I'm getting a new table tomorrow, um, uh, kind of random, but I'm getting a L desk. thought I was going to get it today, but nope, it turns out I'm getting it tomorrow, but the L desk will be here soon, setup is getting that much better, um, I will show you guys a picture of my, like, room setup once I have it all set up, uh, tomorrow or Thursday. You'll, you'll see it on Thursday, most likely. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited to show you guys. You'll see it soon. I am so excited to show you. It's really good, awesome. I'm gonna do like a before and after. So I just gotta make sure I clean up my room so we can look like shit. I'm gonna take the picture. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys are excited for that. As, as excited as I am. That's just one step closer to having a better, a better setup or a banger setup. Um, Next step for me, actually, at the moment, like the next like move out to the desk is to have two of the same matching monitors, one for my computer, one for the Xbox. Boom, but a bang, perfect. And then a better PC would be nice. And then, yeah, it, yeah, that's basically it. Honestly, I'm really close to having the setup I've always wanted. And like honestly, thinking about it now, like, like literally right now, how my setup is right as we speak, it's it's pretty mint. I'm not gonna lie, it's a pretty cool setup. But it kills my back. Like if I sit in my chair and I'm like editing my video, right? I'm typing shit. I have to like, it's like the desk or the table or whatever is not high enough. That's all. It's just not high enough. So with this L desk, hopefully when I'm sitting on the goddamn, goddamn chair, I don't have to. It's perfect. It's like 
level and like I don't have I'm not annoyed or anything I'm just hoping all this cable management looks way better than it does now because honestly I would show you guys a picture but I'm not down for that it, it looks disgusting and like it's not even like I, that I don't like the way it looks I, what I'm worried about the most is I'm worried that it's gonna break like I'm just worried all these cores are gonna break up the cord for my freaking uh blue snowball like I'm, I'm worried it's just like it's so like trash like badly plugged in that it's gonna break uh, that's what I'm worried about I'm worried that um, I'm worried that the Elgato cords are gonna fuck up I'm worried that the Xbox one cords are gonna fuck up I'm worried about so many cords that are gonna mess up and it's just it's pretty scary to think about but you know they've been plugged in and sitting in the same spot for a little bit now and they're fine and definitely changing the setup every once in a while is a good thing to do so yeah, I do that every once in a while. I do that every like maybe like every four or five months, I'd say maybe more. But what I'm excited to do is get the table all built and stuff, have the L desk in this spot like where I am now, and then it's gonna be so cool. But what I'm most excited for after that is having to move like my like I'm not excited to move my setup that's a pain in the ass. But like moving it to the other side back to where it was before just to see how it looks that would be it's gonna look amazing i'm super excited for that um it's gonna look awesome and i'm just so excited but you, know, you guys will see um, up. i'm basically gonna like do kind of like not like a room tour or whatever but i'll just show you guys what it looks like kind of but, um, it's not that big it's not nothing too exciting but it, at least it will give you an image of what it looks like what i worked with what i thought to work with for my youtube videos some of you guys are very curious about like what i use and stuff and if you want to know i use an L catalyst like a clickbait challenge to what i use for youtube but um anyways i use a blue snowball microphone you can look them up on amazon they're they're really good for their price a yeti mic is also really good my friend cyber cyclones has that but, um anyways yeah like i said i use a ice but it's uh hold on let me grab the box <laughs> dial yeah uh, snowball ice or blue snowball is what most people call it because on the microphone it says blue but anyways it's a blue snowball really good mic it's like the price of like a brand new game basically actually it's like it's it's, it's not over a hundred dollars in american and canadian so it's pretty do it's pretty dope um and then i have an elgato hd60 and originally here's a little funny story it's not even funny here's a little cool story originally i was gonna get the elgato hd which is not that good to be honest it doesn't record it doesn't it can't do 1080p 60 frames per second like the HD 60 can and my mom was actually gonna surprise me and get that the HD 60 and I'm actually really happy that I have it but then once I get a better PC a PC that actually has the right processor for this Elgato then you guys will be seeing pristine beautiful content you'll be seeing beautiful 60 frames per second 1080p it'll look amazing unless or maybe you'll see 720 still. I'm not sure because my TV does not go to 1080p. It actually goes to 720 60 FPS, and that's what I'm looking at like right now. If I look at my screen because I have Black Ops 3 idle right now, that's what I'm seeing. I think Black Ops 3 runs at 60 frames per second. Um, who knows? But yeah, that's what it looks like. Uh, that's what I use. Sorry, it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. It's a nice setup. I just, it's just annoying the hell with my Elgato. It sometimes like split clips, but I noticed. I noticed, I'm not trying to jinx anything, but if you were watching this gameplay, it did not do that. And I'm not sure what I did, but I did clear off a lot of stuff off my PC. I deleted System 32. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. If you don't understand that, System 32 is like... Just don't delete it. Just don't ever delete it. That's all I'm going to say. But, um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I, it's looking pretty well for me right now. Uh, but really it for what I use for YouTube also a lot of people like they're like a lot of people I hope you guys that watched like my video like how to make videos on Xbox one my older one with like a whole bunch of views I hope you are watching this video right now because um, a lot of people are like um, snapping app isn't a thing anymore and now I guess I understand that but there, it's not like I can go back take that video re-edit it and upload it again and like you know get all those views again you know so that's why I made a whole new video that um, uh, it was like my second last video I uploaded explaining what you're gonna have to do now so if you are really that interested and really want to make a YouTube video on the Xbox one go and watch that video it will help a lot 
I didn't realize they got rid of Snap and App until a little bit ago, which is kind of stupid in my opinion. Like, that is the dumbest thing. Why would they get rid of Snap and App? Honestly, they kind of fucked everyone over. Like, or not really fucked anyone over. It's just stupid. Like, they always change their shit. And, like, it's out of nowhere. Like, people get used. Like, I was getting used to the dashboard, then they changed it. Like, it's not too different, but, like, they got rid of so much stuff. Snap and App was. It was. That was the best thing ever. That was. That was, like, what I used for these videos for, like, a year and a half. And then just get rid of it like that. That's kind of stupid. And another thing that pisses me off is because I can only record for five minutes. But now, if you open up the way I show you in my other video, I'm actually going to put a, li a link to that video in the description. If you do it the new way, you can record up to ten minutes. Now, I think that's just plain stupid. I'm. It's not that it's unfair or anything. I'm just pissed off because I could have made way better videos. That's all I'm saying. My videos would have been way better. I would have had more ideas, and I would have been a lot happier. And things on this channel would have been a bit different. But you know, that's how it is, I guess. Um, now, see if um, one thing I'm gonna mention here is um, if you're actually still watching, thank you, because this is a 12-minute video, and I do not expect anyone to watch the full 12 minutes because it is quite boring but um i need you guys to put some stuff down in the comments what you want to see i do, like i don't really know what to upload i am gonna upload the car stuff that's one thing i've got glued on to which i'm thankful for that i got that we got the 200 subscriber montage um maybe you'll start uploading some like call of duty black ops 3 stuff like some zombies or uh, and some like more forza hot wheels stuff as you're seeing right now if you enjoy this so just let me know in the comments down below if you enjoy this i'm also gonna probably do some other videos. I want to do some like roasting videos. Like if you guys, if any of you guys have watched Billy Z, I want to do something like him, but not roasting cartoons. I want to roast like, how do I say this? <laughs> I don't, I don't want to say this. I want to say like I want to roast actual people, but like, I don't want to do that. You know what I mean? I don't want to do that because like the only people I'd be roasting is people that I like that are in my area, and I'm not down for that. Cause like, what if they see that video and they're like, this nigga be talking shit, who this nigga, I'm gonna do some research. They find my Instagram account, they see Apex Rise channel right here, they're like, what the fuck nigga, you been talking shit, bop, 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 and I'm not about that, but, um, maybe we'll find some roasting to do soon. But, um, if I do some roasting, there's gonna be a whole squad with me, you feel me, we got, we got, we're gonna have a lot of people, we're gonna have like, cyber clones, we're gonna have my friend John, we're gonna have my friend Jason, we're gonna have so many people if we do that, so if that does happen, just stick around for that, let me know if you want that, but um, uh, hopefully there's gonna be some big moves on the channel, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe for more videos like this, 200 subscriber montage coming soon, I'm working on that, but um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon, let's keep it real with the clickbait challenge.